being able to be at the tournament, talk to recruiting coordinators, talk to coaches, um, that is the norm for us. And once COVID hit, um, how we had to sort of change things was that a lot of it became virtual and became phone calls and uh, receiving a lot of film and evaluating film instead of in person and trying to find our connections and keep those connections. Um, but being able to connect in, in that manner and being able to at least be, have some kind of face to face with our recruits uh, was pretty important for us in this time. During that time between uh, March and November right now, we've had eight months where we've been just basically no live evaluations. Uh, so I guess what has changed is the fact that a lot of campuses, a lot of schools, ourselves included, we've done a lot of virtual visits, virtual tours of our campuses, uh, trying to highlight our program, highlight our facilities. So that's been the biggest change is the fact that they, they physically can't get to your campus and we haven't been able to physically get out and, and have a live evaluation of these student athletes that we're looking at. When the dead period started, um, there was just the thought of, okay, when it's lifted, you know, we'll come visit campus. When it's lifted, we'll do unofficials, officials. Um, and then I think, you know, as it continued to be extended, the reality set in that this isn't gonna go anytime soon. And so obviously um, we needed to start getting creative. Um, I did a lot of Zoom, Zoom tours, virtual tours. Um, but obviously you can only show so much. So showing, showing the campus, showing um, all of our facilities on Zoom, you know, it, it showcases it well enough for the most part, but there's something about being here on campus that really lets you feel how special it is. I think the biggest sell at Portland is when they get on campus and they meet the coaching staff and they get a feel of how hard we're gonna work for them developing and, and then seeing, you know, all the new facilities going up and getting a pulse of campus. And, and so I think that's been the hardest part is the one-on-one -on -one has always been kind of the biggest sell. So just having to do a lot more homework virtually, um, create that relationship and make it even stronger. It's a different era with, with uh, student athletes and, and anything visual, video, they love and they eat that up. So um, uh, I think we've, we've done a good job of, of uh, kind of reinventing ourselves uh, in this new norm. And uh, in a lot of ways, it's been fun. Um, you know, we've, got a, we've got some younger guys on our staff too, and they get into the video stuff too. So it's been natural for them to, to pitch in a little bit more, but, uh, it's, uh, it's, but it still has its challenges. Kids are getting pretty creative as far as their videos that they're sending. So it's not just straight volleyball, it's workouts. It's sort of like a bio, um, like who am I sort of thing. Um, we enjoy them. We, we, we watch them. It's, it's probably our best chance of getting to know them. You know, usually the volleyball gets us interested in the kids, but um, it's who they are that really puts them on top of our list as far as people, um, as far as their character. So we, we like seeing all of it. Uh, we'll evaluate everything about our, a player, a potential player that might be a part of the University of Portland family. The recruiting process sometimes begins with just a highlight tape, a highlight video, and um, the highlight videos work fairly well for the most part in catching our attention. What they lack, obviously, is context. Um, you know, if, if there's a, a five second clip of a goal, we might not have seen what happened before then, or we might not be able to see what happened after. Um, it's hard to read between the lines. Everybody looks like an NBA all-star in those, uh, in those uh, highlight videos. So what we do is we ask each recruit to send us, you know, two full games of their most recent games, of their most recent play, and we try and break down each of those games and uh, try and get a feel for them in the flow of the game. The one thing I'd like to do is commend like a lot of the tournaments and um, travel ball teams and because they've really kind of rolled with the punches and created a really good environment for video and analysis. All the games are live streamed. A lot of them have like a rap soto reading or something so we can see spin rate, exit speed, stuff like that. So a lot of the stuff that we would be doing in person and getting with our um, work is being kind of done for us a little bit. It, it kind of broadens, it kind of gets you creative the, the time that we're in to um, continue to recruit and to continue to make connections and keep connections. Um, I think it's gonna be great to utilize everything that we've learned during this time um, to kind of just better our recruiting process.
If we've learned anything through this, it's that Zoom can be a tool to help us connect a little bit more. Um, you're able to have a little bit more personal conversation. So this is, is a huge, huge um, and valuable tool that we will 100% continue to, to use moving forward, regardless of COVID. Um, so it, it's definitely part of the recruiting realm now, for sure.